Hello, I am super happy because you are sensational. I did not know the character, but she explained it with such enthusiasm. I'm like, another reason I gotta buy that game. <laughs> I, so I'm Paya. I am cosplaying Paya from the version of Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I originally cosplayed Paya from Breath of the Wild, like a, a little while ago, and then her newest outfit came out, and I was just like, I, I have to do it, even though the hat is a little, little much. But it was a lot of fun doing it. Um, I really like. Paya's character. I think that even though she's really shy, she had to take on the role of being the chief for, after her grandmother. It seems like she passed away. And so instead, she has a lot of responsibilities because in the first game, she was really nervous and she was just doing chores and like she, there wasn't really much going on. But now she's taking the role of being the chief. And so it's a lot of responsibility for her. For her. And I just, I just really like how, how well written she is, honestly. Awesome. So what draws you to certain characters? It's, it's, usually when I ask the question, what drew you to the character, I don't get such detailed, wonderful responses. So, but when you're looking for a character to cosplay, what do you look for? I honestly, I look for a challenge. To be completely honest, I do look for a challenge. I like to do really complicated characters. I do characters where I'm like, hmm, how would I make that? So, um, for example, I cosplay Lady Rhea. She has a very intricate pattern and I spent hours doing it. So the, for this cosplay, for example, the big, the biggest thing that I looked at was the hat. The hat took about a month to do. And so I put a lot of time and work into the hat and making every detail individual. One of the things that was most difficult would have to be the straw of the hat. And so I, um, I just put down each individual pieces of straw and I just like to give myself a challenge. I like to learn new things about cosplay. I like to learn new crafting styles. I like to learn how to sew new things. I just like to learn and like build my skills. Beautiful. <laughs> so this kind of leads into the next question, but what has cosplay done for you? It's Honestly, it's done so much. I've been cosplaying for 14 years. So I've been cosplaying since I was 13 years old. And it gave me an escape that I just did not have when I was younger. So I was, I've was i been watching anime since I was six. And so when I started to grow a little bit into my teenage years, I was just like, okay, I really like how people feel like they're just they're just expressing themselves. They're just expressing the like, themselves through their characters. And I was just like, I really want to do that. I want to be surrounded by people who feel the same way that I do. And it got me really into costume design. It got me really into sewing. It got me really into painting. It's just done so much for me in my life. And I just, I, I love cosplay so much. So well, this has been, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally flabbergasted as I look at this amazing build. What has been like the, the most, the, the part you have the most pride in? And what is it something that you think like other people might not notice so much that you also have pride in? So the, the one that's, Overly obvious. It would, it would have to be the hat. The hat took a lot and a lot and a lot of time. So I originally, it originally was just a straw hat pattern that I made and like enlarged it. And then I came with the problem of okay, well the hat this big, how is it going to stand up? How is it going to support itself? So there's is a hidden wire. There's actually two hidden wires in there. It's it's not as visible as I think it is, but there's two hidden wires that are holding this up. And then there's also a giant foam pole that goes in between this. And the top is also removable. So if I can't get through a certain doorway I could just pop it off like it's nothing <laughs> That's so cool. and so I put a lot of work into the hat I put a lot of time hand painting everything um, I think the straw would probably be the most proud of this because even though it was a dumb way of doing it um, I, I cut individual strips of the straw and just placed it one by one around the hat and so it covers the hat completely and I was it just it took a lot of work but I'm really proud of how it turned out it's sensational <laughs> thank you I think the one the one that I'm gonna be honest, the part that actually was the hardest was the jacket because I don't know, I didn't know what this pattern was called. I thought it was a kimono, but the problem was kimonos are, um, they're fabric that go, they go all the way down. So, and they connect the entire way down. With this, it separates in the middle and then she has a layered skirt and then she has another one right under it. So figuring out how to pattern this with all of the color blocking and then all of the other additional details, it was tricky. I had to go through five mock-ups because I thought I was doing it a certain way and then when I would put it on, it just didn't look correct. So I had to, we do it over and over again, and I'm just kind of happy with how it turned out. But I think the most, the proudest, I would probably be the sleeves. Because these puffy sleeves, they can get exhausting to do. Um, because trying to figure out a pattern where it works, and then a pattern where it actually puffs out in the same way as it does in the game, it took a lot of trial and error, and I just, I'm, I'm really proud of myself with this cosplay. You should be, it's sensational. Thank you. <laughs> Now, is there a dream cosplay that you're working toward or you'd like to do one day? Money and time are not an issue. Ooh, hmm. Ooh, something from Bayonetta, honestly. I loved all the skins from the Bayonetta series. I really, and like, the thing with Bayonetta, they're incredibly detailed, but they once they're put together, they're, they're 
gorgeous. But I just, you know, the time and the resources to do that. And then also there's Psyche Zoe cosplays as well that are incredibly, incredibly detailed to a point where I'm like, this is excessive. And so <laughs> I just, I would love, 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 love to do one of those cosplays one day when I have the money. <laughs> that's, that's the question. Don't worry about that part, but what do you want to do? So where can I find you on social media? Yeah, so I am Sack Cos, so it's S-A-K dot C-O-S. And I'm only on Instagram. I don't have a Twitter. I just kind of stay in Instagram, just in my little bubble. Yeah, so I'm Sack Cos on, on Instagram. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You are amazing. Thank you. Everyone You've been a great that. interviewer.